Tom Halliwell here in Odessa Bay talking to you about freedom. That's freedom on guitar, freedom of the fretboard and freedom of soloing. On to the video right now. <laughs> but it's pretty simple, the, the lesson that I'm going to show you today. Obviously, the ultimate goal is, with guitar is to be free, meaning you don't have to think about everything you're playing. You can feel it and you can um, just listen to the music and enjoy what you're playing and enjoy the notes that you're choosing, right? But obviously, I wish it was as simple as that. As guitar players, as you all know, what happens when we try to, uh, you know, just feel the music and just play? Most of the time, we end up playing the same things we've always played, and that's fine. But another thing, and it's a very common problem, is your fingers are choosing the notes, not you. What I mean by that is, we learn our scales. And we stick in these boxes. And that can be a big problem. Because then we are disconnecting with, uh, we're disconnecting the things that we play with just moving our hands. And it's not satisfying for, I would say, the listener, and it's not even satisfying for the player. All right, so in this video, I want to show you a couple of things that I done to kind of uh, free my mind up so I can move around the fretboard. So I remember I used to play in these boxes and I used to do things along the line of this when I had a solo. <laughs> like that right and again I'm not saying that's a problem okay if that's what you want to play as a player that's absolutely great you know if that's what you like the sound of and you actually enjoy playing that and everything's good then yeah there's no need to explore outside of the box you know there's there's no need for you to to learn a different way. I'm speaking to the players that feel frustrated because we, we're we just limited to these little boxes, or I wouldn't say limited, but we, we find it difficult to move outside of the boxes and we're letting our fingers do the music rather than us, yeah? So I wanna show you a few ways how you can maybe move around the guitar and learn the fretboard. Um, today's lesson is just going to be on the A minor pentonic, so um, I hope you all know that scale. You, I think of it like this, you can either come down the guitar or go across the guitar, and that's pretty much it. Um, anything that you are playing, you're either coming across or going down, yeah? Um, you can kind of do ones where you kind of go down a bit, across, down, across, but that's the way I think of it. So. It makes perfect sense to learn all your, your scales down like this and across. Let's go through the A minor pentatonic down first. So we go. So those are your five pentatonic boxes, right? Standard thing, most guitarists will learn it pretty much in the first year. Okay, what's the next step, right? Well, the next step is to start to go across, so on one string. So we can go E, 
Uh, by the way, the notes in the A minor pentatonic is A, C, D, E, G, A, yeah? Root, flat third, fourth, fifth, flat seventh, root. So let's apply this to one string. So we go E, G, A, C, D, E, G, A, um, C, yeah? So that's the first one. On the next string, A, C, D, E, G, A, C, E, uh, D, E, okay? And then maybe G. And then the next string, D, D, E, uh, G, A, C, D, E, G, A. Next one, G, A, uh, G, A, C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E. Next one is going to be uh, first fret. On string two, uh, on the B string, and that's uh, C, D, E, uh, G, uh, A, C, D, E, G, uh, G, C, D, E, G. And then this one, obviously, it's the same as this string. Cool. So, Practice vertical, practice horizontal, right? Right, so now we're going to do kind of both. We're going to go down and this way. And what we're going to do is you're going to go across the string and then when you feel like changing string, you change string and then go across. And then feel like changing, you change string. Make sure you go into the next note, yeah? So you can, the way I would start out um, I've got it all memorised now, but the way I would start out is by saying the note names. Because at least then when you change string, you know what note you're on, you know which note's next. Right? Okay, so we go E, G, A, C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E, uh, yeah. G, A, C. Right, so that's an example of going up, an example of coming back down um, would be C, A, G, E, D, C, A, uh, G, E, D, C, A, G, uh, E, D, C, A. So I hope this is all making sense so far. Um, once you can do that, then you want to start to combine going up scales with going across and sliding and things. So there you can just, I, I usually, what I do is just play a chord, put it on the loop, and I would just go across and up and down and, you know, get to know which notes I like the best in the scale. So, an example. as well because this guitar always goes out of tune it's the final countdown. I hope you understand the concept that I'm trying to teach here um, basically don't always think in boxes and don't always think horizontal think both you don't have to always think in uh, horizontal ways you can also think of vertical all right and yeah I, I see a lot of uh, stuff online about you know the way forward is just playing in the boxes or, you know, 
I see other guitarists judge other guitarists because they just play in boxes and they're like, they should be more free and around the neck. Um, like with anything with music, it's a creative art, meaning there kind of is no rules, right? Your only limitations is really your mind, yeah? There's some incredible players that play in boxes and they think of it like that. And there's some incredible players who play without the boxes, you know, who just think of notes around the neck. Um, there is no right and there is no wrong. It just depends on what sound you're looking for and what sound you want. So we'd finish there. I hope that all helped you. Any questions, let me know.